Oh, we are less than 45 days from the general election and activists across the country are working to get voters to the polls. That includes young voters who are hoping to motivate their own generation to have their voices heard. 7 News' is Liana Golden is live in Fairfax County tonight. And Liana, you spoke with a high schooler who is passionate about this issue. Carl, I certainly did. He lives in Fall Church. He is a senior in high school and he wants polling locations like this one, the Fairfax Government Center, to just be packed, lines up and down with voters. Actually, what we saw on Friday, take a look, your very first day of early voting in Virginia and people really showed up. We're told nearly 2,700 voters came here to this spot, about 800 to Mount Vernon and about 765 to North County. So definitely a busy first day. And Saman Kwashari attends Marshall High High school that's about 20 minutes away. He helped pass the School Voter Empowerment Act in Congress. It essentially designates high schools as voter registration agencies, allowing federal financial support for all schools to host registration drives and also empower young people to go ahead and get to the polls. This initiative would allow for nationwide voter registration, and that's why we worked, we worked so hard on it, because we thought we can do it here. We receive these resources for civic education, but other kids around the country may not have the same opportunities that we do here in the Washington, D.C. area. So we're hoping that we can have nationwide support for voter registration in each U.S. school so that all kids can get involved, have their voices heard. Now, Samad actually won an award for all of his hard work on this. We'll have more on what he got here coming up at 11 o'clock. In the meantime, we are, of course, keeping track of early voting sites, numbers, locations, all of that up on our website, WJLA.com. Reporting live in Fairfax County, I'm Liana Golden, 7 News.